네, 유트 캐리거 시즌2 믹스 선수와 함께하고 있습니다. 우선 여러분이 가장 궁금해했던 얘기죠. 재계약 얘기부터 한번 물어보도록 하겠습니다. Mix, your loan expires in July and the club has already reached out to you for contract extension, right? And as soon as I do my research, as soon as um, the offer came in, you said, you know what, it's too early, let's talk about it next month. And today is April 30th. Which means starting today, it's next month. So, if the negotiation has already started, what can you tell us about the progress? And if it hasn't, um, where do you see it going? I mean, the key word is positivity. Um, you know, the team is in first place right now in the Champions League, in the K League, in tied first place. And, uh, you know, I'm happy right now. I think they're happy. Uh, it is a while until the contracts. Expires the loan, um, but of course we're talking, and I don't think we're gonna. I don't think I want to talk to you about it. Uh. It's better if I talk to <laughs> to the people responsible about it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we'll we'll see what happens. But of course, it helps that we have, um, you know, that we're doing really well, that the fans are as as good as they want, that they want to take my passport. I'm I'm guessing that's a <laughs> positive thing. You have to hide it and say. Yeah. I'm going to take it. You're going to say yeah. I mean, I yeah, I got to find out what I what I do with the passports because every time I meet somebody they say they're going to steal it. <laughs> Your team this season comes back, comes roaring back. You guys seem undefeatable. What do you think allowed your team to be so destructive this year? We have we have a really I mean, we have a really big squad. A lot of decent quality players all around. Um, so if somebody's get injured, you have a player that comes in and replaces that without the quality going down. There's many games right now. We play two games each week uh, for a long period of time, and we've been good. We we had a little collapse in the cup, of course, but um, you know that happens. John Book also had one of those, so now we can concentrate definitely on the two competitions we're in: the K League and the Champions League. Um, but yeah, I mean. I don't want to give too much away because we have opponents maybe yeah. watching watching this, <laughs> so I'm not going to tell you all of the secrets. But yeah, no, we, we look really good this year, uh, defensively and offensively. We work hard for each other, and it's a joy. It's really fun when we go out there and play. Uh, you know, you look your your teammates in the eye, and you know, you got each other's back. What is your assessment of K League so far? What are some positive things, and what are some shortfalls? It's a very competitive league. Uh, I feel like every single team can beat, like the first, yeah, beat each other. First place team can lose against the team in last place. So there's no really easy games, which I'm used to in the different leagues I've played in. Um, very hardworking, everybody. Uh, technical, I would say maybe the tactical aspects is the one thing that's maybe more focused on in, you know, Scandinavia and other places I've, I've been in. Um, but yeah, that's what I can say about the K League. Twelve games within two months. How are you managing yourself? Running full time. Yeah, I mean Korean barbecue seems to be helping a lot. <laughs> uh, no, it's a lot, a lot of resting. It seems boring, but you know you try to switch off and not focus too much about football when you have the chance. So. You know, when you can hang out with friends, go play bowling or walk around in the city and do other things, that's nice for your, your head mentality to, to do other things. Um, so, you know, it's, it, it's okay. It's, it's definitely, uh, as you said, a lot of games, but it's the same for many other teams as well. So we don't complain. And as long as we're doing well and winning games, I'm having fun. 
What do you think of your manager's approach this year, and what style of football do you think he wants you to play? <laughs> These are difficult That's questions. Cool, yeah? Okay, what was the first question again? What do you think of your manager's approach this season? Um, he obviously, he wants us to, to reach our full potential, all the players, and we don't know what that is yet, but right now it's looking good, and it looks like we can uh, compete uh, on being up in the top. Uh, the approach, you know, it's... it's uh, Last year we were very offensive minded mm -hmm. and created many chances every game, but we were very exposed defensively. I'm going very, very like tactically soccer right now, so I understand everybody who's not interested in football might get a little bit bored right now. But this when you're year up there it's hard to get down there. Exactly. And and uh, this year we're maybe more uh, smart when it comes to being def defensively structured. As long as you don't conceive goals, we're always gonna create chances and maybe score goals. So right now it's working really well for us. And, uh, you know, as long as we're doing good, I'm, as I said, I'm happy. What role do you play in that, do you think? <laughs> uh, by working as hard as I can and, and doing what I can for the team. I mean, uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to talk too much about myself, but what people say is I'm more of a passing player. And I... And I a combination player. Exactly, exactly. I'm not the guy who's going to dribble five guys and score a goal <laughs> like maybe Insung or something does but um, no I try my best and and um, everybody's been been great towards me so you know we've been winning games now so if I keep doing what I'm doing maybe that helps do you know about your manager's style like the style oh his clothing yeah. style I gotta say I was looking at my coach the other day before a game and no doubt he has the best clothing style of all Kaylee managers and I'm not saying this to to kiss ass or anything like that <laughs> I mean this he has a he'll switch it up dif uh, differently if it's depending on the weather or which game but it's it's very classy elegant and gets a thumbs up from me did you know that his nickname is sexy dopamine <laughs> I did not know that and I do not want to know that okay. next question let's go next question. <laughs> you tweeted that the title of Asia Champions League would go to either Chunbuk or Ulsan. Does that still comply at this time of the season? <laughs> yeah, when did I do that again? Was that a while ago? Uh, yeah, a while ago. Yeah. No, we'll see. I'm not I'm not the expert. I feel like you guys are the journalists. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to keep playing and not say anything. Chunbuk, obviously, very solid team. Uh, always difficult to play against them. And uh, if, if, yeah, if we're going to be on, on top of the the league when when the league is finished in November uh, we definitely need needs other teams to beat Jumbuk and help from other teams because uh, they, yeah they're a very good team uh, but it's not only them it's and many other teams Seoul is doing very good right now and we know there's many teams that can be in the top flight so it, it'll I think it'll be a race to the bitter end it's gonna be you know four or five teams that that are gonna be up there so I think it's gonna be fun for every K League fan Good, good yeah. to hear. I'm excited for that. <웃음> 네, U2 캐리거 시즌 2 믹스 선수와 함께하고 있습니다. 믹스 선수가 오늘 나온다고 해서요. 저희가 골닷컴 SNS와 또 골TV 유튜브 커뮤니티를 통해서 질문을 받았는데요. 이번에도 질문이 너무 많아서 이 간추린 질문 함께 만나보도록 하겠습니다. Who's your best buddy on the team? One in Korea, and it could be another one in other countries. So two buddies, two best buddies. I have to say Dave. We, we spent a lot of time together since he got here. He was new to the team, so I tried to show him around and show the Korean culture. We also went on a vacation together to Philippines. A mm. uh, little two-day trip, was, which was a lot of fun. Um, outside, I have like two or three guys who are really, really best friends. Uh, Norwegians, Theodor Emman, Christian Lena. Yeah, I didn't get that. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. I'm probably forgetting right now. Uh, Ula Kamara, Ula Selnes. Mm, Those guys. Okay. They play for Shenzhen in China, actually. Mm, okay. So they're footballers. From your teammates, who's the goofiest? Or the funniest? Um, who's the goofiest? Wow. That's a good question. I like that one. Tear one. Tear one? Why? 
he's for me is so funny because just the way he is you know he's very aggressive on the fields everybody thinks this but off the field he's just a big goofball <laughs> and I, I laugh every time I just see his face who was the most helpful for you uh, maybe Yongo. Yongo from 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 day one is always you know try to help me out and uh, and his English has gotten better, he says to me, uh, and I agree from, from when he got here. So that's kind of my contribution for him. Um, what about your Korean? My Korean, it could be better, but I try. Okay. I feel like when we've been eating together here, I've showed, yeah, I've, I've, I've showed you a couple of my, uh, my phrases. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you know, passes, even though you say you're not a combination player, combination player you name everything you do everything so well so who do you take as a reference I mean growing up my favorite players were Iniesta and mm. Pirlo okay. the way they were on the ball and, and the passing skills they had was tremendous um, so I would, I would try to guess those are the guys I want to adapt adapt after okay. and rank these three players from top one, two, three. Paul Scholes, Frank Lampard, Steve Gerrard. Okay. It's a thing in Korea, apparently. And the fans ask this? Yeah. It's a famous trend okay. that everyone does. Obviously, Frank Lampard, number one. Mm -hmm. I play with the guy. He's amazing. Paul Scholes is, for me, uh, number two. Mm -hmm. He's an absolute legend for Man United. And... Uh, Steven Gerrard number three. Okay. Even though Steven Gerrard is probably like one of the best midfielders ever, that's how my rank is. And you're up there as number four? <laughs> um, I'm probably like 245 or something like that. No. From your teammates, who do you think has more, the most potential to really make it there in International League from Ulsan? You have to kind of look at the, the younger guys mm -hmm. if I'm going to do that right now. So, um, Tokyo, I don't know if do you know who that is? His Instagram handle is Tokyo. Donggyung, Lee Donggyung Sansu. There you go. Uh, very good player, good left foot. So if he just keeps on working and stays humble, I think he'll, for example, be a be a player who can take the take the course out to Europe. Right now on the team, I would say definitely a lot of the players could play in Europe. Really? No doubt. Um, the situation with you have to go to the army for for one and a half years. Makes it difficult for Korean players. Right. Uh, in Norway, for example, you have to go to the army also for uh, one do. year. But if you're an athlete, you don't have to. Okay. So that's the rule there. Even if you don't win a medal. Even if you don't win the medal. If you weren't a football player, what would you be doing? <laughs> I probably wouldn't be in Korea right now. Uh. Because this football is what brought me here. Um, that's a difficult question. When I was when I was like eight years old, I wanted to be like a nature photographer for National Geographic. But once I got older, it became kind of like property developer, kind of more business like. Yeah. So let, let's say that. Okay. And you're targeting a trophy in K League, your team. Who do you pick as an arch rival at the moment? I think I know the answer, but... And what team actually went beyond your expectation in terms of their performance and took you by surprise? To answer your last question, Seoul, definitely. They, they were, in a bad place. were in a bad place last year, as you say. And def yeah, this year, suddenly, they're, they're up there amongst, amongst the top flight. Uh, you didn't ask it, but like Incheon, I thought we were going to do with the players they have a lot better but they had very many very many injuries oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. made it kind of difficult for them um and the other question of course jumbook is a, is a big rival okay and these were all the questions from your fans and if you pick one we give the person who asked the question a little gift so what was is it in english or yeah it is in english? an interesting question Who's the goofiest? Goofiest. Yep, yep, I like that one. Okay. How did you enjoy your interview today? And food, of course. <laughs> you're, you're one of the best interviewers I've had. Thank you. I had a great time. The food was terrific. Your whole team here, exceptional. Quality, good service. So, uh, no, 
Thank you guys for coming to Old Sun. Can I have a high five? Yes, definitely. And a low five? Low five. <laughs> and we have another gift for you. Really? Yes. Just keep getting gifts here. Can you guess what it is? Uh, it looks like a, a picture. Yeah. Of you. Of me. <laughs> that would be nice. No. <laughs> no, it's a picture of you. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, that is wow. I drew this. Not no. mine. <laughs> What do you think? It's that a little is, tiger. This is awesome. <laughs> this is, is awesome. I'm going to hang this up in my apartment. <laughs> this is really cool though, seriously. Wow. And last but not least, can you say a word or two for our viewers and also your fans? 안녕하세요. 믹스입니다. 같이 가자. We're going to give it our all to you know, give the performance that the fans want. Every single game, we're going to give 100%. Hopefully, it'll be good enough for you guys and hopefully good enough for us. 네, 외국인 선수의 한국 축구 정착기 유지 K리그 시즌 2 이렇게 믹스 선수와 함께 했는데요. 저희는 다음에 더욱 더 재밌는 이야기로 찾아오도록 하겠습니다. 그럼 안녕. 안녕. <웃음>네 굉장히 자주 오시는 편이세요 처음엔 제가 이제 어, 축구 선수인 줄 모르고 모델 분이신 줄 알았어요 어, 일주일에 한 번씩 그렇게 오시더라고요 예. 혼자 오실 경우가 굉장히 많았어요 단체로 오실 경우는 거의 일, 한 달에 한번 정도 예. 네 혼자서 식사를 하시고 여기가 한우 골목은 아니고 이 가게가 조금 죽은 가게인데 저희가 오면서부터 이 가게가 약간 피었다고 할수 있는데요. 그 비결은 저희 고기가 굉장히 맛있어서 오지 않았나 그런 생각을 하게 돼요. 어, 제가 여기 5년 동안 이제 가게를 하고 있었거든요. 처음에는 처음에도 이제 물론 저희 가게가 이제 줄을 좀 섰는 그런 가게인데 요 비법은 요거. 어, 워터 드라이징? 그러니까 이제 물속에서 숙성시키는 그런 카트. This is all I need. 골티비 3행시 남기고 손흥민, 이재성, 사인 국대 유니폼 받자. 슈퍼선, 손흥민. 슈퍼선, 이재성, 구독자 5만 선물.